This is the hover jack device that is carried at station 17, 22, and 26. As we saw the patient being transferred with the hover mat onto the device completely deflated, we can then use this device for lifting and transferring patients. The device is rated to carry up to 1,200 pounds on a flat surface. If we use this device to lower patients downstairs, uh, then the load capacity of the device is cut to 700 pounds. The device has four air chambers that are filled with the air pump, the same air pump that we use to inflate the hover mat. The difference being is that there is no connection to the chamber. It does not completely secure to the connection point when we inflate each chamber. Each chamber has to be inflated from chamber one at the bottom to chamber four at the top in order to create stability as we're raising the patient. As the air chamber fills, it won't fill evenly as we're filling it with air. So it's important that we have providers on either side of the air jack as the chambers are being filled so that if the patient begins to roll, we have a provider there to protect them. The air pump is attached to the black valves on the left. And it's as simple as just holding the air pump to the valve till the chamber is filled and then securing the cap afterwards. The red valves on the right are for deflating the chambers as we're moving the patients. It has a Teflon base so that we can move the patients across most surfaces that we come across. We have four carrying straps so that we can drag the hover jack with the patient. We have four straps, one at each corner to assist us in moving the patient once the hover jack is raised. We have a air pillow at the top level of the hover jack. Um, and it's important that we inflate that air pillow on the patient. As the patient is being raised, um, we need to make sure we inflate the, the air pillow so that we limit any respiratory distress from laying the patient flat. It's also important that just like the hover mat, when we first put the straps on the patient that we leave them loose. If we tighten down the straps and then inflate the air chambers, we'll end up compressing the straps onto the patient as we inflate the air chambers. When we go down the stairs with this device, it's important that we only inflate chambers one and two. We can't go down the stairs with chambers three and four fully inflated. Um, so we only want to inflate the blue chambers if we are using this device to go downstairs. As well, we will demonstrate in a moment how to transfer the patient to the cot. Now that it's time to transfer our patient to the stretcher, um, it's very important that we keep the stretcher down at the lowest level that will increase the capacity of the stretchers that we carry in the county. We'll talk more about the specifics of the stretcher in the next video. What we're gonna do here is have two providers on each side of the patient so that as we lower the air, release the air from the chambers and lower the patient, we again protect them from the lack of stability in the air chambers. We'll lower the device, we'll re remove the straps, and then we'll slide the patient over to the stretcher with the stretcher in the completely folded or completely down position. To release the air from the chamber, we need to go in the exact opposite order as we did raising it. So we wanna begin by releasing the air from the first chamber, the fourth chamber, and we do that simply by releasing the red cap. And you can see how it doesn't deflate evenly, which is why we have the providers on either side of the device. Once chamber four is completely deflated, we do the same thing for chamber three. We've left the pillow at the patient's head inflated so that we keep them in a slightly upright position so that we don't create any trouble breathing. We remove all the straps.
and we're ready to transfer our patient to the stretcher. So we've seen how to use the hover jack and the hover mat to transfer the patients. The crews that came from these stations carrying the bariatric equipment will come with you to the hospital. You'll be the patient care provider and they will assist you with the equipment and patient transfer. They'll come with you to the hospital so that the hover jack can be used uh, to transfer the patient to the hospital bed. Since the hospital bed will be too high of a platform to move the patient from your stretcher to the hospital bed and they'll assist you with that in the same manner that we used to raise the patient previously.